Hey folks, TJ here, back with another edition for Weekly Wrestling. Now today, I'm going back into my library of Ring of Honor stuff to kind of, kind of look for something obscure, something to present to you guys for this week. So, what I found was very cool, and what I have in my possession is possibly one of the rarest and possibly the hardest to find DVDs in Ring of, in Ring of Honor history, alright? This is Ring of Honor Live in Tokyo. Whoa, look at that. Can you believe this? What? And this is very rare, very hard to find, and I'm really, really lucky to have this in my collection, actually. And I really wanted to get this because, because for one reason, this was the very first event in Ring of Honor history where they actually went to Japan, actually. And this was the very first one where they worked in conjunction with Pro Wrestling Noah. And um, what they produced was something absolutely spectacular. And I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say this right now is that I had a fight to find find this. Actually, it was like I found it on eBay and. Literally, just put pop it in good deal, and I, I happen to get, get it, and I'm lucky enough to have it. So, uh, aside, aside from that, let me dive right into it, all right? Um, what can I say? For this very first uh, Ring of Honor event in uh, Japan, it um, was actually pretty darn good. Some top-notch, pure wrestling, actually, all right? And I'm going to kick things off with the main event was for the Ring of Honor world title. It was Takeshi Morishima against Nigel McGuinness, and... Uh, what a great main event. Uh, two guys from two different sides of the world competing for a Ring of Honor belt. It's I can, it's very, very odd, odd for me to say that. But if you're fair, if for all you Ring of Honor fans, you know the company's history. Morishima was the very first outsider to ever win the Ring of Honor championship. And, uh, of course, uh, Morishima is a very well-respected athlete, actually. He's, he's a big guy. Believe it or not, and this guy's now he wrestled Dodger McKinnis. He's wrestled Daniel Bryan too. He's wrestled um, countless others, but uh, but hey, Ring of Honor ma made him something actually, and uh, it was truly a great main event. Lots of good stuff, a lot of back and forth action. A truly a, a, a true great showcase of both styles of wrestling, the Japanese hard-hitting style and the European style, which was uh, Nigel McGuinness's forte, although even though he was also American-trained as well, so it was, a, it was a perfect blend. It was a, a, an amazing event. I can't believe I'm saying this. I give it a very solid four-star event, actually, okay? But it can't, it's not perfect, but it could be perfect either way. But anyway, um, rest of the card was pretty, pretty cool. Um, uh, it was an all-star six-man tag. It was Naomichi Marafuji teamed with the Briscoes to take on, listen to this, Matt Seidel, Ricky Marvin, and Atsushi Aoki. Um, uh, interesting ta and tag team, definitely all-star. Um, uh, you have the team of Matt Seidel, come on, uh, Evan Bourne, a high flyer. Uh, Ricky Marvin bringing a lucha aspect since he's uh, from Mexico. And, and Atsushi Aoki, also a... a, a a uh, pro young prospect at that time um, coming up through the ranks. Some uh, got something pretty cool against a very great veteran team of the Briscoes and Marafuji. And, the, and all those guys are absolutely amazing, actually. Uh, well, um, oh, in, in a interpromotional battle, Brian Danielson took on Yoshi Ozaki. What the heck? Almost a show stealing match. Typical stuff, amazing stuff. Um, and Danielson's more shorts and ground game mixed against Shiyazaki's hard-hitting Japanese style just made for an amazing contest. Almost a show-stealing moment. In fact, there was a moment in that entire match that I still remember is that, um, spoilers ahead, is um, somehow Shiyazaki's on the outside. No, actually, he's on the guardrail, and Danielson flies over the top of him, knocks him into the, not, not, not only over the guardrail, into the front row, or second or third row. It was it was like holy heck that never happened. It was pretty cool actually. And uh, I'm not telling you who wins. You guys see for yourself. A great great match actually. Uh, let's see our matches. Uh, two special. Uh, B J Whitmer and Jimmy Rave. Uh, typical stuff there. Good good match. Um, uh, could be better. Uh, Shohei Taniguchi against Aki. Aki Akihito Ito, I can't, can't pronounce the guy's name. It's hard to pronounce some Japanese names. Uh, pretty much some, I think it was like an up camera match, not too special. Um, uh, a fight without honor between Roderick Strong and Delirious. Actually, some good stuff. An out-control fight, not not a five-star match, but some good good stuff. Um, he had Delirious, his, his insanity stuff, and Roderick Strong with his him his strong style, his hard chops, his backbreakers just makes for amazing contests. And, of course, obviously a fight without honor. Nothing, anything happens, pretty good stuff. Um, then, of course, uh, there was a 
the, um, according to this, uh, there, uh, uh, there was a tag match, but actually, spoilers, it wasn't actually an impromptu opening tag match. Um, it ended up being Jack Evans and Kataro Suzuki taking on uh, Rocky Romero and Davey Richards, back then known as the No Remorse Corps. Um, some good stuff, actually. Um, you know, almost a solid way to kickstart off the show, but uh, the rest of the show um, really picked up. Um, I really say uh, the Danielson Shiyazaki match, show stealing stuff. Uh, the main event, amazing stuff. Um, I highly recommend it. If you can find this event, um, it's probably very hard to find. I, if you can, I, in fact, I, I bet you can probably find it on the Ring of Honor website. It's probably on the Be On Demand service. Maybe you uh, may, may, may want to check it out. And with that, that gets my overall ring of 9 out of 10. All right, so uh, that does it. Let me know what you think. Um, like I said, maybe may check out Ring of Honor. Honor. They might have it. Or, otherwise, well... See, see what you can, all right? So that does it for today. See you next week. Take care.